Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. This is Carmen with Elemental Designs. And yes, today we're going to be working on yet another canvas for the summer canvas giveaway. Hey, Tanya, you've been waiting long? <laughs> so today's theme, um, I have this little chipboard cutout that I altered. Um, it's actually supposed to be a ballerina, but I want to turn her into a fairy. So I went ahead and cut up her leg and kind of just positioned it a little bit different to make her look like she's in flight. Um, I've gone ahead and uh, created myself a little wall here because I want to create this to be somewhat like a shadow box. And I've gone ahead and done some stenciling, not too much stenciling around it because I'm going to be adding other things. But I also went ahead and did some stenciling on the canvas as well. I don't know if you guys can see that. Hi, Karina. Hi, Devinda. Hey, Isabel. Hey, Sasong. Um, so I went ahead and did some stenciling on this. It's got like French words. Um, and it's a deco art stencil that I used on that. I've got a package of wings here that I'm going to be using. I've got some of this cheesecloth or muslin. I don't even know what it's called. Um, but I got some of this because I'm going to be creating kind of like a fairy dress for her out of it. Um, I've also got like a little baggie with just other little remnants here and there. I'm not sure what I'm going to be using from there. I've got some metals. Um, we're going to be doing some layering, some gessoing. We're going to be doing all kinds of cool stuff with this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and turn my little uh, glue gun on. I've got my little baggie of junk. It's got all different kinds of just um, knickknacks and beadings and just all different kinds of things. So I've got that there so that I can go ahead and get some layering done. Excuse me. Hey, Leilani. <laughs> She's like, I'm loving everything you're saying. <laughs> Jackie's in the house. Jackie, you're supposed to say hello to me first. Then you can say hello to everybody. That's just rude. <laughs> so who else is here that I am missing? Hi, Teresa. Hi, Jackie. Hi, Tina A. Um, so pretty much... We're going to do a little bit of everything. The first thing that I'm going to start doing is actually um, gluing this down. I'm going to glue this onto this so that I can have a little bit of a nice little dimension. And then this is going to be somewhere around here. And I want her to be floating above everything, kind of. So I might even use some wiring, um, some wires that I got. So we're going to see how that's going to kind of work out. I'm not sure exactly of where her placement is going to be. I just know that I want to kind of hovering above everything that's in the background. Like that's the idea that's in my head to kind of have her like this. Um, and we're going to fill the background in with all kinds of awesome goodies and just all different kinds of things. So I got my glue gun going. Let me get my channel up so that I don't have to keep looking to my side um, to get my video. It should be popping up. There we go. Just make sure my volume is all the way down. So thank you all so much for joining me today. Let's see how I can put this so that I can see everybody's comment. Come on. This way. This way. Phone this way. There we go. So hopefully I can put this in a way that I can actually use it. Hopefully right there is good enough. Where is the chat? Oh, I'm looking. Where's the chat? The chat literally disappeared. There we go. There we go. Got it. Whoop, whoop. So I've got this heating up. So that's the first thing that we're going to do. And um, then we'll get going on filling her in. I got to just so everything once I get it all filled in. Um, I might be adding some tissue papers on the outside. I'm not sure yet. We'll see how it all kind of goes. And pretty much what I, this is about an inch. Um, and I did it, this is a 10 by eight. So I did it nine and a half by seven and a half are the dimensions and then one inch thickness. And then I just took the little pieces that were left over and just kind of sealed off my corners with them. But the things that I'm going to be adding hopefully will hide um, all of the little seams and stuff. <laughs> so let's get this party started and hopefully um, 
I'm close enough. If I need to get a little bit closer, let me see. Let me see if I, um, there we go. That's about as close as I can get it for right now. And hopefully that'll be good enough. So I'm thinking I can at least seal off some of these. And at least this will help me to get the right um, perspective of where I want everything to be. I'm not so stressing about glue as usual because I am going to be adding like little beadings and little things here and there to kind of get it all into perspective. And I'm going to basically glue down my biggest sides and then I'll just glue from the outside on um, the smaller sides. So how's everybody doing? And that'll be kind of that. So I have I left myself a little ledge to work on the outside so that if I want to add like beads and stuff, I have something to grab onto um, so that it's kind of, you know, glued on at least two sides. And now I'm just gonna go around all the edges and just make sure that everything is glued down properly. You're watching Living Single? Jackie. <laughs> That's so old. <laughs> You heard a doggy in the background here? No, no doggy. I have two turtles and a cat. That's as far as my situation with the little animals go. I woke up so late today, you guys. It's not even funny. My whole day just been so late. I doubt that, Jackie. <laughs> we don't have no dogs here. Nobody barks, girl. <laughs> All right. So I got that kind of going in there. And like I said, I'm going to be doing some layering. Um, so I'm going to be just adding like a whole bunch of uh, different beading. And there goes the phone. Just adding a whole bunch of different kinds of beadings and stuff to the inside of this. Once I've glued like all the little elements that I'm going to have in here, then I'll come back and just so over everything, just so the cardboard, just so over, over everything. But I want to make sure that I got everything kind of glued in there. So now I'm just going to find like all the different stuff that I'm going to be adding to the inside of this uh, canvas. It's literally going to be like a mod podge of all kinds of stuff. So I'm just going to kind of like put my hand in there and see what kind of comes out. Some beading, I guess. This little flower wants to go. Some different kind of beading. Um, let's see what else is in here. Oh, I got a little baggie here with all sorts of fun stuff. Let's get this baby open. Got a paper clip in there, but I'm not going to use that. It's got a butterfly on it. Um, so starfish don't go. Not really starfish kind of theme. Let's get this part of it kind of open. This is just going to have all kinds of stuff in it. All kinds of stuff, guys. Let it down to the bottom. 
see what else I pull out of here. All right, so maybe that'll be enough. I'm also gonna add like little gears and stuff afterwards. Um, so we're gonna see where we're gonna go with this. An eraser. <laughs> Can you tell I just throw everything from little boxes in there? <laughs> yes, hide girl, hide girl. All right, so let's see what we got going on over here. All right, so I'm just gonna start to glue down stuff. And everything is gonna be just sold over it, so I'm not really caring too much about um, you know, this or that, uh, the colors or any of that. What I'm looking for here is solid texture. So we'll see how it all kind of um, goes together. I had no idea what to do today. I'm like last minute, I'm like, what am I gonna do today? My whole day has just been so off. Yes. It won't be bling bling for too long. This is just something to do when you have junk, junk jewelry, um, just different kind of junk things laying around. I'm just gonna play. I'm just gonna play and see what happens. We're just gonna see. We're just gonna see. Just gonna add a whole bunch of different stuff on here. So I can't fit anymore. <laughs> this is just a <laughs> I don't even know what to say during the <laughs> I was just like I started looking through stuff and then things just started to kind of come at me and I'm just like okay I'm gonna use this I'm gonna use this and we'll figure out the rest and then I started looking through whatever chipboards I had left to see um if I needed to cut out anything new no oh, little Little lion face. Look, Teresa. Little lion face. <laughs> yeah. Little lion face, Teresa. So we're just going to see. We're just going to see where this kind of goes. I'm just going to start kind of layering a whole bunch of stuff. And we're gonna see what this all kind of goes. We might as well use it, right? I might as well use it. If it falls, it falls. I'm not gonna go back picking it up. I have enough stuff to play with here. Uh, I don't know about you, but, um, yeah, no, <laughs> I still got more in me. I still got more in me, girl. I still got more. We're just going to see where this is going to go. I have no idea. This is architecture. So I'm not quite sure what's gonna happen here. I just hope it looks good by the time I'm done.
a lot of gluing little things down. So we're gonna see. We're gonna see. I'm not quite sure. I'm not quite sure yet. We're just gonna keep layering and keep layering until I feel like I'm good to go. I want this to be like really, really dimensional, really wonky. I want you to be able to tell that I made it from using junk, but I don't want it to look like junk, you know? Let's see. So I have a whole bunch of little loose beads here. So I'm just gonna run like a whole string of glue here on the edge and see what'll catch. I'm gonna do the same with this side. And we're gonna see where this is gonna kinda go. We're gonna see, we're gonna see. Oh yes, I haven't tried that yet. I haven't tried to do that one yet. I think I need more stuff. So we're gonna go and get more stuff. Let's see. Oh, this is messed up. Yeah, we're gonna do be doing a whole bunch of uh, more layering on this. I just want to get all the big pieces kind of stuck in place. Got a whole bunch of like little beads here. So let's see if we can get some of those to travel into that corner. And kind of get stuck right there. Let's get more. I feel like I need a dish or something so that I can pull these, pick these apart. I can hear yeah, someone blasting music. Oh, you can't hear us. Somebody's blasting music. I was going to say, I don't got no music playing here. Well, I found another little baggie. That's dangerous. I found a thumbtack in the bag. That would have been me screaming out real quick. Let's see. Let's get more of this kind of happening here. Hopefully you guys can see. Let's get some domes in here.
with this wonky little rock. Hopefully by the time that I'm done, it starts to make some kind of sense to me what the heck I'm doing. Right now I'm just kind of playing around and adding stuff and just adding stuff. I think I'm gonna glue some flowers in there too. So I might as well, I'm gluing everything else under the sun in here. I think I might as well add some flowers in there too. I just want this to be really full of all kinds of stuff. Let's add some of this. Start by just kind of sticking that in there. And let's see how we do this. So we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I just hope I have enough glue gun, I mean glue sticks. <laughs> Thank you, Jackie. We're gonna see. We're gonna see how this is all gonna pan out. This is all gonna pan out. And this pretty much is just to create like some texture, some dimension. Um, it's a good way to get rid of some of those junk, like little bits and pieces that we end up saving, that we don't end up using for some reason or another. I have a bad habit of putting things in little bins and then not using them. And then they end up in a bag every time. Cause then I find myself needing to use the bins for something else. So I end up emptying everything out. Tanya, you're gonna make the robot come for you. Don't say I did it. Oh, look. We ended up in the same, almost the same place that we started. That's pretty cool. All right, so that was that one. Just trying to get rid of some of these little hairs that I have laying around, lingering. We have some other ones here that I think I'm going to add somewhere around there. 
I'm not gonna get rid of the hard. I was gonna get rid of the little bits of hardware that it has, but I'm not gonna do that. So I'm gonna glue this starting from here. Just kind of jam that in there. I'm thinking. Stuff is literally falling all over the place. That yeah, maybe. Let's see. Let's start laying this one down. Just seeing where it all kind of uh, tends to go. <laughs> Welcome back, Isabel. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if we can coax this to kind of go over there. These are a little bit heavier, so I'm going to lay down a little bit more glue to kind of get these in there. Follow this one down here. Follow it all the way down. When I have to get more glue. This will work for some of the custom jewelry that belong to my mom. Yes, I mean you can use any kind. Actually, Jackie, you can use any kind of um, you know, any kind of jewelry, regardless, you know, obviously don't use nothing that's worth something, but like any kind of junk jewelry, custom jewelry, um, anything like that you can really use. This one's a little bit different, so we're gonna be using this one. And do -do -do -do. I'm going to start this one right here. And I'm okay with these overlapping a little bit because at the end of the day, it's all about creating that layered look anyway. And I have no idea what the final outlook is gonna be. I still have more stuff to add into this. I'm gonna grab some flowers that I have in my little flower bag. Um, the flowers that I always seem to have a hard time either placing somewhere or I just don't tend to go for it very often. And I'm gonna add those in here as well. And everything's gonna get gessoed. I'm even gonna leave the little bits, um, the little hooks and whatever little uh, hardware it has. Cause that just adds to the whole look of it. That's where we are so far. I'm gonna grab myself my little baggie of flowers. And this is usually, I always forget to turn this off. So I do apologize if it startled you. So I have a baggie here. I've shown this baggie before. I just have all kinds of different little flowers, alternates, um, just things that I normally don't go or don't put back in the proper packaging. So we're just gonna add um, flowers here and there. 
I'm going to add all different kinds of flowers. Just different kinds of stuff. Okay, have different kinds of flowers, all different kinds of flowers. Especially in like some of my more open spaces. Little things, little things. <laughs> I doubt that. <laughs> I doubt that you disintegrated them. Add some of these here and there. All different kinds, all different kinds of flowers in here. Let's add a little bow since I found one. So I think so. Let's see what we can get with that. Let's see how far we can go with that. This is a really pretty flower. I'm gonna try to flatten it out a little bit so that I can keep the stamen on there. I'm gonna put this flower right here along the side. <laughs> Give me one second, you guys. Let's try to um let's see here. I'm gonna add this one right here. Try to add that one right there. Let's add that one right there. Trying to catch some of these little curves. Let me get this foam piece out of there. Come on. The foams don't stick to nothing, but they sure know how to destroy a flower when you're trying to use one. So we'll see. We'll see how this is all going to come out. This is definitely um, going to be an interesting piece. <laughs> it's definitely going to be an interesting piece. And I'm actually going to keep the little curlies on here. Um, what I will do, though, if I can, is just twirl them around a little bit. That's too wide. Let me get a pencil. Carmen, that's amazing. Oh, thank you, Jaggy. Yes. That's the goal, to have I have some type of, you know, <clears throat> all kinds of interesting things happening on it.
that I have all kinds of interesting things. And at the same time, just kind of fill in some of these little gaps here and there. I'm not gonna use that flower. I don't wanna dismantle it. Let's see. Put it between places. Let's see, what else? Let me grab some of these. He's around, darling. He's around. He's always around. Just adding a whole bunch of different flowers. Adding flowers. Adding flowers to my project. Not sure how it's going to turn out, but hopefully good. Oh. Huh? What's up? <laughs> uh, huh? Crossfire. Crossfire, what? I don't, uh, I haven't showed it yet. Huh? I haven't showed it. I don't ever want to show it. In the mail. It finally mm -hmm. arrives. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna put it in there. Mm -hmm. He can't wait to torture me, you guys. He can't wait. Honestly. The um what is it? Bam the bean boozle thing finally arrived. What happened? Let's go ahead and start adding some other elements in here. I want to put this little bowl somewhere. We're having a walk. I don't even know which way is up and which way is down anymore. I was going to put this flower in there, but I think it's a bit big, so I'm not going to do it. Um, huh? I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to pop some of these out. Where's my... My yoga. Isn't it always raining? I'm going to make some little makeshift flowers out of this, and I'm just going to kind of... You don't got no bot? The bot is in there. see the bot? I don't know. Wait, hold on. I don't read this whole thing. This is too much to backtrack. It is a bit much. What happened here? Well, come in. Stay home. I'm live right now. I won't be done being live for a few. If you'll be here, I'll get it done. Oh, uh, yeah, I might be up by that 30. I don't know what happened. How you beat your bot? I don't know what happened to my bot. They say they beat him up. It might be true. He might have run up scared. Hi, Joyce. I beat the bot. You didn't see that unbelievable, though. What you call it? The night bot. The night bot. What's the name of it? Titi bot. Titi bot. If he let you beat him, he's fired. No, there he goes. He just popped up. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Indestructible Titi bot. 
indestructible titi bot. Okay. Just in case you didn't get the memo. He's getting full. Just in case you didn't get the memo. All right. Ya apaga el aire. No. All right, let me see what other little beads I have that I can put in the center of these little things right here. Oh. She's shooting at the box. <laughs> She, she she turns cowboy when she um gets in front of the box. Let's see. Oh, this has got some weight to it already. <laughs> see so the Bobby hiding all her stuff. When she does, um, <laughs> it hides it. It doesn't let it, it doesn't let it show. What hides it? Does it? Does it show like everything is showing? Yeah. Oh, because it's asking me and I haven't heard nothing. Oh. Now let's see. Here's some of these little hearts here. This. All different kinds of stuff. All right, I got something else I want to add in here that I haven't quite added yet. So let me just go and grab some little resin pieces. Some that I have, some that were gifted to me. I'm going to see what I have in here that I can use. I just want this to look crazy because the, the more crazier it looks now, when I actually paint it, and I start adding colors and all of the crazy stuff over it, the better it'll look. We have some little wings here. Thank you. So I just want this to be like different colored chocolates. You can't eat this. Can't do the Heimlich right about now. Let's see. Um, do, 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 do. Just gonna add a little different little things here and there and everywhere. Um, do, 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 do. where, where, where? I'm, I, I feel like I'm literally running out of room in this thing. Well, let's see. I think I am running out of room in this thing. What else do I have? I have to test them because I went ahead a while back, like when I was first playing with these clays and stuff, and I found that magic clay by Crayola. Oh my God, that thing is so terrible. That thing is so terrible, you guys. It didn't do nothing. It never dries. It literally does nothing. Yeah, me too. Let's see. Oh, geez, Jackie. You got no filter, girl. Let's see.
maximum things to be on top of other things to be on top of other things and other things to be on top of other things. These are like little broken pieces, so I might as well add them in there. Stick them to the box. Tiny group. Tiny group. Tiny group. We're almost done with this part of it. Um. I'm literally crushing it right onto, um, right onto the sides. These are all like little broken pieces. And just gluing them on there. However they fit, crushing them onto the cardboard itself so that they adhere. Thank you. <laughs> He's so mean. He's so mean, man. <laughs> I want there to be something like literally everywhere. This is so soft. Hopefully it'll hold well. This is gonna be like a mod podge of just all kinds of stuff. I'm not gonna put the baby in there though, because the baby, you know, I'm not gonna put the baby. Like all of these crazy little wings, not wings, but like um, all these little textured pieces. I am. <laughs> That's yours. You claim everything, Jackie. <laughs> no, I don't know who this is going to be. Maybe you get lucky. I won't take luck from you. Maybe you get lucky. Who knows? Who knows? This is going to be very Art Deco. Is that what they call it? Like Art Deco type with all the different structure? I don't even know. I'm just adding, adding, adding. I'm trying to get rid of all these little things so that I can make room for other stuff. This is how I purge. This one curves so it won't lay flat. Let's see. This is how I purge you guys. There's so much glue hair everywhere. It is crazy. And there's, if there's one thing that annoys me, it's glue hair. Sometimes I don't care because it just adds texture. Sometimes I do care. I don't want it there. I'm just like filling up all the sides with as much stuff as I can find. Let me go get some more stuff. Let me see. Yeah, let me go get some more stuff. I think I'm gonna add that heart in there. And then I add that little thing in there too.
Might as well, right? If I can glue it on. If I can actually glue it on. Who's she talking to? Don't be starting no mess over here, girl. Don't be starting no mess. So I'm just gonna add some little, um, some of this, and then I'm gonna call it a day with this, and I'm gonna start getting ready to um, just so and have some fun. Let's get a little time piece in there. Hopefully that'll look nice in there. Stick some gears in there. All right, so I think I think this will do it for me. I think this will do it for me right here. Right? I think that'll do it for me. All right, let me pick up all this crap that I got going on over here. And get to the just one part. This is going to be one full baby right here. My chair is like retarded. All right, let me get that over there. Um, that flower I don't need right now. Let's put that over there. Got this. We don't need that. I'll put that over there. All right. I got these little Jolie stickers that I'm going to use in here. I think I'm going to place these like on the outside of the canvas. Can I get these out? There we go. I'm going to place these like on the outside. So, let's see. Make sure that thing is going to fall from there. This is what we're looking like. I really like how she looks like she's just resting on that flower. Um, so this is what we're going to do. I'm just going to glue these onto here. Kind of half, half hazardously. So... Oh my goodness. Play nice, you guys. Play nice. Don't make me put you both in the corner. So I put one of each of the big ones, and I think that's how I'm going to do this. 
going to kind of just That's a big one. That was a small one. Sometimes it's better not to say nothing at all, Jackie. Um, as far as colors, I'm not sure yet. To be honest with you, um, Leilani, I, I gotta see. I gotta see what's gonna happen. Um, once I get the fairy kind of going, that'll hopefully inspire the rest of the color scheme. I'm gonna work on gessoing this so that it has a little bit of time to dry. And then I'm gonna start working on the fairy. And then once I get her kind of going and I figure out where I'm gonna place her and stuff, then I should hopefully be able to decide what exactly I'm gonna do um, color-wise. Because right now, I have no clue, to be honest with you. I wish I had another one of this. All right, so this is what's happening in the corner, uh, like around the base of the sides. If I can get this glue off of here. And I know you can blast all of these little hairs off with a heat tool, but I can't turn a heat tool on in here because we just have too many electronics going between the computers and TVs and air conditioners and just too much uh, pulling on one power source. So that's more or less how this is looking. Let me just flip this over again so that anything that wants to come out can come out now or forever hold its pieces. All right. So now that this is pretty much done, I'm just gonna give it a quick once over and just pull out any little hairs that I can see. I know I can't see them all, but I just want to pull out as much of these little hairs as I possibly can before I continue. Oh, Tanya, that's not nice, Tanya. That's not nice. <laughs> Tanya, take it back. <laughs> take it back, Tanya. All right, let me just so. I see you. Tanya's on a roll over here. So this is what this is looking. Look how heavy it is, brother. Oh, you can't mill this out. <laughs> he said I can't mill it out, you guys. Too much metal. Too much metal. It's like at least... Like the, a pound. There's a pound yeah, to, so far. It's like a pound at least. Right. In in a get the toilet paper. So let me spray my gesso just a little bit to get it kind of Shocking. going. I gotta get me a new jar. Sure. I think I'm about to be out of gesso. Of this kind, I have to make some to be honest with you. I gotta make some gesso. That's what I need to do. I see. So we're just going to get all of this kind of going. I need my thing to bend a little bit. My brush is a little stiff. 
I'm going to have to probably get myself another brush to do this with. This one's a little stiff. Let's see if this one will work a little bit better. Gotta put that one to clean. There we go. I needed to have that bend. That's heavy now. I haven't even added the paint layers yet to it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's going to be real heavy when it's done. Thank God for flat rate. Yeah, I don't think it's flat rate. Some of these little things. I'm not trying to stick. Did I just wrap my brush in that? What are my nuts? That ain't gonna work. Let's get that going. This is gonna be really, really heavy. You should. It's super fun. It looks like it's fun. Mm -hmm. And it's a Mod Pod. You don't need to have any kind of scale per se to do this. You can just do it. You can just glue a whole bunch of stuff together and then just add, you know, you can, this can be a hot mess if you want it to be. Just as long as you have like a decent kind of centerpiece, it'll all work. This is just Mod Podge stuff, like, you know, not Mod Podge, but like um, just stuff that I save and I put in bags. I just hope I have enough gesso at this point. I didn't think about that part of it. <laughs> I didn't think about that part of it. This is what happens when you don't really plan. You just kind of wing it. I didn't look at, I didn't take stock of inventory. I didn't take stock of nothing. I was just like, this is what I'm going to do today. And that's it. Okay. It'll all look interesting once I get it all to go. I did one with junk toys. I gave that one to, um, Isabel, that's the one that I when you was, <laughs> yeah, you know, it's funny, they still come and ask me, like, where's the box? <laughs> where's the box with all the toys that you used to have? I'm like, oh, I got rid of it. Well, I don't babysit them no more, so what's the point of having them here? I used to always, like, I'm always the type of person to always have, like, stuff for kids in my house, even though I don't have any, because... You know, I, I know that if you can distract the kid, giving them something to put their mind to work, then they won't frustrate the hell out of their parents. Kids frustrate their parents when they want attention because they don't have nothing to do. So in order for me to be able to have a conversation with whoever's visiting me, I always have activities for kids in my house. Toys. Yeah, they was asking for them. So I got like a little box now. I don't have like nothing major. I just have like this little box. And I have a lot of like um coloring stuff and things like that. And when that fails, I'm like, so what movie do you want to watch? <laughs> I have movies. Is why I don't like those little hairs. So just trying to get around everything as much as I possibly can. There's going to be no way I'm going to be able to cover every nook and cranny, and that's the point. You're not supposed to have to be able to cover everything. Just as much as you can. As much as you can, to the point that you can't really tell what's what.
And I still might go into it after I'm all done and even add more stuff to it. Um, there are more like, I don't have to gesso them, just like, um, you know, different kind of pieces and stuff that I don't necessarily have to gesso. And it's okay if you end up losing some pieces as long as you don't lose them all. Sometimes um, the plastic doesn't go too well with hot glue. So this is to make more or less make it um so that I can go ahead and paint over it, but at the same time to kind of turn it right back into a blank canvas so that I can, you know, seal everything and just be able to paint over everything. So that it'll take the color once I add it in there. I have to find myself that spray gesso that everybody's talking about. Well, not everybody, but I found out that they, um, I heard, I haven't found out nothing. I heard that they have a spray on gesso and I want to get that. If it is true that it's something that they have, I want that spray on gesso. I think that'll make my life so much easier. Huh? I still have to paint the rest of this. I'm still missing a whole wall. I didn't put nothing in the bottom base on purpose. Because if I want to add like a little sentiment or something like that, I want to be able to do so um, and not worry too much about it. Let's do the outside. I still got to put this on. Just when you think you're done, you always find something else to just so. Just just so in the outside as well. Mm -hmm. This is what I do when I have nothing else to do or like when I don't have any idea, like specific idea of what to do. I just throw it all together. And I'm going to add some beading around here after it's all said and done. That doesn't require any gesso. So I'm going to be covering up all of that glue gun with that. After this, we're going to start working on our um, little fairy girl. We're going to start building her up, getting her kind of primed and ready to go. I have to figure out how I'm going to hang her in here. Because, again, I don't want her to be in the canvas. I want her to kind of hover above it. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. No, the bottom part doesn't need it because the bottom part goes on the wall or if you're going to put something to like hold it up, most likely this is going to go on like a wall, but um, some kind of hardware is going to have to be attached to it so that it can hang because these canvases are not made to hang. You have to add stuff to it, like one of those little wall mounts or something. This is just gonna help it so that when I start adding paint, that cardboard holds it and doesn't go crazy on me. All right, so I think, I think that's it for this. And I'm gonna set this to the side. And as you guys know, just so it doesn't take too long. And I don't have to just the back of it. Um, my main thing is just, you know, all the little elements. Oh, that one came off. I'll glue this back on in a little bit. Let the gesso dry. And meanwhile, I'll get this out of there. Yeah, expect to lose some beading and stuff. Unless you um, do like a whole coat of like E6000 and let it dry overnight, you are going to lose some beads in the process. That's all right. That's all right. All 
All right, so this is what this is looking like. Size, everything is white. Everything is mostly white. Oh, I see blue. I saw blue. How did I miss that? How did I miss that? No, everything, everything. I'm like, wait a minute. Everything, everything. How did I miss that? No, 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 no. No, no, no. I don't want to distinguish colors and stuff like that. Not, I mean, some things you can't really hide the color too much until you start painting over it, but like some of the flowers, I don't care if you know the color showed, but some of these things I don't want to show the color. Because I'm gonna be adding a whole new color. And anything that I see that I don't like after it's all dry, then I'll come back and add some kind of bee trim or add some lace, tuck in this, tuck in that, and we'll be good to go. This I'm gonna add some water to and leave it in the little jar. So I'm gonna put this to dry. This is gonna look really cool. It looks cool just like that, right? Like you could just add something, add a little bit of color in the center and call it done. But no, my life is never that simple. So I'm gonna put this on the side over here. Let it dry. Now we're gonna come back over here. And I just sold this because I'm gonna add this back on at some point. Let me just clean my hands. so that I can start working on this fairy. Hi, Davida, thank you. Punch a hole on the top flap, what? Are you spraying color to make? Um, I'm not sure yet. That's an option, I was thinking about that earlier because I haven't played with um, spray paints and stuff like that, like the sprays. Because the sprays that I have are acrylic paint sprays by Deco Art, and to be honest, I love their products, but that is not one of my favorites. Not because of the color or the product itself, but because those spray nozzles, it, it gets clogged. Like they put a regular spray nozzle on an acrylic based spray paint. Like, yes, it's loose and it's a liquid, but it's got it's got like um shimmer mist in it. Like it's got, you know, powders in it. And acrylic paint dries on its own, naturally speaking. You know, even alcohol-based inks dry and you'll get that film. So you could just imagine what happens with acrylic-based um, sprays. So they're not the greatest for spraying, but I will be dispensing color. Or I can dispense color. Um, and actually, now that you guys say that, you actually remind me, I have to order myself some pipettes. I need some pipettes because that's how I'm going to be applying color from now on is using a pipette. I'm tired of struggling and cleaning nozzles. And for it just to get clogged two seconds after I've done all that work to clean them, I've just, I give up. <laughs> so I got to get me some pipettes to just be able to dispense the color when I need to dispense it and where I need to dispense it. And then I can just spray regular water and spread it. And I have to go crazy, um, you know, with all of that extra stuff. So my hands are somewhat clean, not all the way, but somewhat. All right. So this is our fairy. She's not a fairy yet, but she will be by the time that I am done with her. And I do have to gesso her. So, huh? It does look like the Jordan sign. And I'm gonna make her wings out of this, one of these butterflies. That's the goal to make her. I think Tanya, did you give me this or did Isabel give these to me? I think it was one of you two. Mm -hmm, they're beautiful. So I think I'm going to use the actual antennas to glue this down so that I can create um, my lift. So I think that's what I'm going to do with her. Um, I think that's what I'm going to do with her. I'm going to create, somehow I'm going to use these antennas to my advantage. So I'm gonna actually rip this off. Can I? Let me use the hot glue. 
going to try to take the centerpiece off real quick. I don't want to break. Um, I don't want to break the the butterfly fabric. You know the the stocking that they use to make this. And I'm gonna use um, the little metal that it has in the back. I'm gonna try to use that to somehow to my advantage. So this is what I'm thinking. Cause I want her to be in flight. So. Let's see. Let's see if my noggin, what my noggin does. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to try to see um, how exactly I can. I think if I flip this up. Do this, then I can do something like that. And it won't look so bad. Okay. All right. So I'll try to do this this way. I can manipulate these a little bit. I want them to be a little bit more pointy and not so butterfly-ish, but more fairy-ish. So I'm gonna try to point these out just a little bit. It's a little bit better, right? A little bit more fairy-ish and not so butterfly-ish. Yes, I like that, right? All right, so I'm gonna do that. Now with this, um, I have to just sew her up, but I wanted to Just kind of like create um, like this fairy-ish type of outfit. So I'm gonna cut a piece of this out. And let's see what my noggin tells me. But before my noggin starts talking to me, I need to adjust for that. Otherwise I can't hear what it's saying. So I'm gonna adjust for her real quick. At this point in time, it's really watered down because I added water to my brush. And again, this was a ballerina that um, <clears throat> I cut out with the Cricut machine because I don't have any fairies on that machine. Well, I don't have any fairies in any any of my cartridges, really. So um, this was a ballerina. I think she's part of the wall decor um, um, cartridge that they have. And all I did was cut off that leg because she's literally standing, um, pleating, I think that's what they call it. And um, I just cut off the leg and just repositioned it behind her so that she looks like she's in flight. Because if that was me, I'd be flying with one like this and one like that way. So <laughs> I figured she would fly the same way too, right? Um, so if you guys can see, I just kind of glued that on, glued that there. So let's see. All right. Um, what am I gonna do? I think what I'm gonna do here. 
because I don't want to go too hand biscuit with painting right now with her. I'm going to use one of these gelatos and just kind of just go over her like this. I think I'm going to go a little vintage with her. So I'm going to distress her a little bit. Um, this is rose. Let's see, a little bit of rose. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to rub it onto my finger and just kind of give her a little bit of uh, color just a little bit this is gelatos this is by Faber Castell if that's what you're asking me um, it's like a water soluble crayon that Faber Castell has um, it's Pretty much a water soluble crayon. It's like a um, very creamy kind of consistency, um, and you can pretty much do all kinds of shading. You can apply it as is, or you can apply it like watercolor, or you can pretty much apply it on your backgrounds and use spritz and sprays and waters and all different kinds of mediums to kind of like move it around. I don't know if you guys can see that too well. Let me see if I can focus this a little bit. Let me move this. Here, just a little bit. So it's kind of light right now. I'm gonna build. I'm gonna deepen that up just a little bit more. But um, it's pretty much a gelato, and you can. That's. I mean, that's what it's called. That's what you would find them under if you want to buy the name brand one. Um, or you can call them. The call them gel sticks. If you want to find the one that's not so name brand. Um, or water soluble crayon. They have they have like um, wax ones and ones that are not made of wax. So it all depends on what you're looking to get. Now I'm gonna go with a little bit of a darker color. This one was rose. What is it? Rose glaze. This is just regular beige. This is gel stick. So if you want to find them. Um, these are gel sticks by Fabric Castells, which is the cheaper version of their gelatos. So they don't say gelato on them. They just, um, the box has gel sticks. And I actually just threw the box out too. I would have shown you what the, what it looked like. So now I'm going to add a little bit of this chai glaze. This is, this is the one I want to use. It's this one. Maybe a little bit of that one. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just catch um, a different angle. A little bit here, a little bit there. You won't really be able to see any of this, but just in case somebody gets nosy and want to be lifting up dresses and stuff, <laughs> I want to make sure that uh, she's got a little bit of color to her. She's not just, you know, chipboard under there. All right, so. All righty. So that's it for her. You're very welcome. Just stay away from the portfolios. That's a brand by Crayola that's water soluble crayons. They're okay, but they're not the greatest for this kind of technique. They're good for like adding background and like for other things that are water, you know, that you want to have like a water soluble crayon. But for me, that I'm a little bit of a nitpicking kind of person, I find that they leave a little bit of a 
They leave a little bit of a wax residue, which I don't really like too much. Actually, I'm gonna keep this here. I'm gonna play with this. I'm gonna I'm gonna stain this up a little bit. And I think what I'm gonna use is let's put some of this worn lipstick on there. And this is the distress oxide. Spritz it just a little bit. So I'm gonna get that one. And I also want to add maybe a little bit of this vintage photo. Let's see. I don't want her to look like a dirty little fairy, but <laughs> I want her to look like, you know, she didn't go to the Macy's and pick up her dress. She made her dress <laughs> from scraps that she found on the, on the ground. So I just want to kind of do that and just kind of do that. So we have some little lips kind of like this. You guys can kind of see that. Um, the pinks show a lot brighter in person. So a warm lipstick looks a little, a little bit brighter in person than it does on the camera. So now I want to see. I got to see how I'm going to do this. So I'm going to loop it around her. This is a lot of fabric. And I want it to be something like that. Like, let's see, maybe. Maybe this is too long here. And I want her to have the worn and tattered kind of look. I'm just gonna pull out some of these in the bottom. Okay. <sighs> Thank you. So let's see you now. I'm going to add a little bit of glue here. And I'm going to really quickly try to add these in here. Now, I've the little piece that I took off, I'm going to add it in there because I could always use the texture, right? So now we're going to try to kind of work with this and see how I can get her to kind of have this look of she's in the wind and her dress is just flying everywhere. I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of this here. I'm going to stretch this out a little bit and I'm going to crinkle it. Hey, Tammy. So I kind of, um, with the hot glue still tight, I kind of just heated it up a little bit. I'm going to wrap this around the back just a little bit. I want it to look like be loose and airy because if she's flying, then she's, you know, there's air everywhere. Um, there's, you know, everything is fluffing up, if you will. So I'm just going to do that and just kind of glue that in a little bit. I want this to kind of be like, like so, I think. So I kind of like that. Alrighty, like, are they dragging him or is he volunteering? <laughs> like, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness all right so jesus 
I was starting to think maybe he didn't want to go to the store. He's like, no, I don't want to go. She's just forcing me to go. So this is how this is looking. And I think I'm going to just kind of drape. I'm going to glue it down to that, like a little bit, like a little dot right here, just so that it kind of catches it there. And kind of allowing it to be nice and still kind of flowy. And I'm going to catch it a little bit on that leg. And I'm just going to kind of let this kind of go and kind of be. And I'll figure out what I'll do with that after. Right? So something like that. I'm gonna create some folds and Just trying to see what I like. What I like. Let's think. I think that's fine right there. I think that'll work. All right, so we have our fairy so far. And I am gonna add some glitter on her dress just, you know, because I have to. <laughs> um, thank you, Tammy. So now we're gonna work on the wings and I don't want yellow wings, you guys. Mm. I don't want yellow wings. So I'm gonna just them because why not? I might as well. I might as well jessel them. Don't put this aside. How long do I have on here already? I don't know what I have. Take these little, um, if I could. I guess I can't. So, so I guess they'll all be jessel. So I'm just going to jessel the wing. Got to just on the bag because I don't know who's looking at this thing and from where. And I got to figure out how exactly I'm going to make this girl fly, like really fly. Look like she's really flying. That's the whole concept for this canvas. And um, that's more or less what I want to do. I want her to fly. All right, so I couldn't quite get all the yellow out. I would have to literally do like a whole bunch of coats, which I'm not gonna do right now. So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get some of my paint. Now here comes where I start figuring out, okay, this is the colors that I'm gonna use in this canvas, so on and so forth. I'm gonna leave this to kind of dry off to the side a little bit. I've got some of the smuggling used up, so I don't need to use this no more. Um, thank you. Very much. We're gonna start to bring our canvas back over. It might not be all the way dry, but it's going to be somewhat dry, and this is more or less what I'm going for. Something somewhat like so. And maybe I'll split this here. I need to get me a good pair of scissors. 
sessions that don't actually last. I, sessions don't last with me because I'm just like so um, all over the place with them that my sessions never last. And again, I'm gonna distress the heck out of this fabric because she's a fairy, you know? She's not a fashion model runway girl. She's a fairy and she gets dressed with leaves and stuff and everything she does is with like nature. So I don't know where she got this fabric from. Somebody must have dropped it when they was visiting the park, but that's what we're going to do. So I want to put her somewhere like that. And I want her to kind of float up there. So I'm thinking how I'm going to have her float. That might work. That might work. I'm going to be this way. That might work, and I'll just glue her leg here. All right. I'm thinking that might work. So I just kind of stuffed this in there. So we'll let this dry. The meanwhile, we're gonna start pulling, picking out colors, and I am gonna grab see what see what kind of sprays I have. Thank you, darling. I'm gonna see what kind of colors I have as far as you know, inks and sprays and stuff. And we'll start adding color a little bit at a time. These are some DIY ones that I made. And I put this foam on it because I couldn't get the sticky off. <laughs> so it's got a little piece of foam wrapped around it. This is a little bit more intense of a blue turquoise. I do want to add some black in there. Um, just to intensify some of the colors. I got this like berry color. It's like a purplish, like a wine kind of color. So we're gonna play around with those and see. Um, what we come up with, then we'll finger out the rest as we go. And cross your fingers, everybody. This is the point of no return. Right? Because you have like the little bits of pinks and colors that are kind of poking through, but everything is so muted now. I'm going to put this over here because I don't want her to get messed up. But everything is like so muted now. But you can still kind of see a little bit of the color here and there. So. I'm just going to kind of. So this like so. And just kind of let little colors drip here and drip there. And we'll see what this kind of looks like. Is gonna allow that color to kind of just move wherever it wants to go. It's kind of traveling through all the little nooks and crannies of the canvas now. Some of this gesso is not all the way dry and me adding water to it probably won't help, but we're gonna figure it out. Ooh. Leave that like that, right? Just a little bit. Let's play around with a little bit of this black. 
just a little bit of this black though. We don't want to overwhelm it. Let's see, spritz, just a little bit, just a little bit, let it kind of hang around a little bit. What did New York say? That is an awesome idea. Poke a hole above her and add a string. Oh yeah, I could do that. That is a good idea. That is a good idea. I actually have a piece of wire that I can use. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see what I do. I'm gonna see what I do. Um, I'm gonna add more of this. So let me see, can I spray a little bit of this instead? Hopefully the sprayers work. I don't even bother testing them so much no more. Just to intensify that color a little bit. I like that being that bold. Oh, I just let it flow, girl. I just let it flow. I have no idea. I couldn't even begin to answer that question for you. I just kind of start gluing stuff and then just, I don't know. <laughs> Gracias, Isabel. I just, you know, I just play around a little bit. Just a little bit, you guys. Not too much. <laughs> just a little bit. That's my favorite word for today. Just a little bit, you guys. Just a little bit. I'm adding black um, in different parts of this so that it can hopefully, what I'm hoping is that it'll intensify um, some of the other colors and make them look a little bit more, uh, you know, bring them out a little bit more. But I don't want to add so much that I turn the whole thing into mud. So I'm trying to be uh, very gingerly uh, when it comes to adding the color. And this is acrylic paint. This is the Deco Art sprays. They're awesome sprays, you guys. They're they're permanent. You know, like I said, I really like them, but the nozzle gets clogged real easy. So what I try to do is that whenever I get them, like I'll empty out half of them and I'll end up making two bottles just to water it down because it's so intense. Oh. I have to do, um, I was tagged by Leilani, so I'm going to be answering all those questions soon. <laughs> I don't want to give anything away right now, but I'll be answering all those questions really soon. I'm so backed up this week, you guys, it's not even funny. I'm really, really backed up. I'm liking playing with this black, in case you guys haven't noticed. <laughs> I'm really liking playing with this black. I pulled out some of this green. Let's see how this looks.
And then let's hit our, huh? Thank you. And then let's hit our sensor a little bit more. Thank you. And I will go over it again, just not over it, but like I will add gesso just to soften up some of the different bits and pieces here. Let me um, put this here. Look how much paint I have on this thing. I'm going to put this here and just let her kind of um, dull herself out. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some of this black around the edges here. Hopefully this thing will work for me. Whoever gets this canvas is going to be dirty in the back. <laughs> Hopefully that's okay. Hopefully that's fine. I think I'm adding more on the back than I am on the... This is going to be drying for like at least a day or two once I'm all done. <laughs> yes, exactly. Plus, at least you'll know it was handmade, right? Hi, Judy. So this is definitely going to be one interesting, interesting looking canvas, you guys. I love the way it looks so far. Once I'm done with the live stream, I will go and like start heat blasting it and stuff like that just to get it all kind of dry, um, you know, so that it doesn't seep in so much. And I will, once everything is dry, I won't be able to do it during the live stream, um, but I will go ahead and add some beading all around the edge of this just to hide like where the seam is of where I created the shadow box aspect of it um, and where everything else kind of goes. Okay. Thank you, Judy. I usually don't play too much with black in my canvases um, because black is one of those colors that you really can't take back. Other colors you can almost play with, but not black. Black is not one of those colors. Um, once it's on there, it's really, really hard to kind of get it off. You can mute it, but you'll most likely have to start all over if you can't live with it. So this is why I'm not using the spray part of it, even though I, I guess my spray does work. 
I'm just kind of using the little nozzle part of it just to have a little bit more control over what goes where. Let me pull this back. There we go. So you guys can see a little bit more of the fuller picture. And I'm just putting this along the edges so that it kind of drips down and catches whatever it's going to catch. As far as the background, I'm leaving the background as it is for right now. Um, all I'm going to do is later on, once it's already oops, sugar and spice and everything nice, and I knew this was going to happen. I spilled my black, you guys. We are on damage control right now. Just give me a second. I'm gonna get this organized. I spilled my black. No. Now even the stuff I didn't want to be black, black. <laughs> oh man. All right, then. There goes that idea. This is permanent paint. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get this now. Just give me one second, guys. Talk amongst yourselves for a minute. I'll be right with you. Man, you gotta catch this quick. I'll do it. Eh, you guys, disaster struck. Disaster struck, you guys. <laughs> All right. So, oh, I had to clean up the mess, you guys. Let me pull out another rag, because that one is in the garbage now. All right. So as I was doing, as I was doing, you guys. All right, what was I? I was on this pair. All right, you crazy little bottle. Stay still. I literally lost half of my black paint on that bottle. Yeah, so sad. I hate wasting paint. <laughs> it's literally one of the things that drives me crazy is wasting paint. All right, all right, so we have this. We have this, you guys, we have this. All right, so I think I'm pretty happy with this. I think I am. Just a little bit here and there. 
that one kind of decided for me. Said, I want to go here. Okay, if you want to go there, go there. All right, so we got that part of it done. <laughs> this is what the sides are looking like. And now we're going to work on finishing up our fairy and adding her in there and adding the wits to her. Um, I gotta work on her wings. What did I do with her wings? Oh, her wings are right here. Gotta work on her wings. So I'm gonna put this over here to the side for now and let that kind of just be, let it kind of rest, if you will. <laughs> so let's see, some little pieces fell out of it. I'm not worried about it. I don't think it's gonna miss it because I have so much stuff in there right now. This thing right, wet right now, it weighs like two pounds easy. Hopefully once it's dry, it won't weigh as much. Um, and it'll be a little bit easier to kind of play with and manage, but we'll see what happens with that. So her wings, I'm gonna do the same thing, I think. Spray them weight down. wings on the edges. I don't know how I feel about these little bead things there. Can I get them out? Yeah. I don't like them. Let's see. All right, now let's do the same thing to the back and just add a little bit along the edges. And I'm just gonna do this like so. So this is what this is looking like. And I think just for good measure, I'm gonna add a little bit of this pinkish. Kind of color here. All right. Let's see. I think that's about it for me there. Obviously, this is definitely not one of those things you can heat dry. You guys, you will literally like consume the whole thing up in two seconds. That fabric is not um, heat dryer friendly. So I've been having my glue gun kind of going here this whole time, and this is a little wet, but we're gonna see if we can get it to stick.
My hands are the filthy right now. Giving her like little pixie um, type of wings, I think is what I'm gonna do. Let's see if we can stick it. I doubt it, but let's see if we can stick her on there. Let's see. Just gonna try to hold it in place for a little bit. Hopefully the fabric being dry will be enough for it to catch. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Leilani. My hands. I'm like, oh, oh my goodness. I like my, I like to get my hands dirty, you guys, but not get filthy. Okay, <laughs> there's a difference. <laughs> there's a difference between your hands being dirty and your hands being the filthy. Ah, uh, my hands are the filthy right now. They be on dirty. Thank you, thank you, everybody. I'm so glad it turned out okay. Like, honestly, I was so worried about today. I wasn't sure if this was going to work or not. I was like, Carmen, what are you doing today? Like, honestly, have you lost your marbles? So that looks pretty in dimension, what I think. Um, now let's see if we can stick her in there. And I know Tanya suggested about tying up the string. If I can't get this to work the way I want it to, trust me, that'll be my next best, um, my next step right there. We'll be using a little string or something to kind of get her in there. Which way is up? Okay, this is up. Gonna kind of twist these together. So hopefully be able to just kind of stick it somewhere where it won't show. Oh no, look at the top face. Oh I'm gonna have to gesso that. I got black on feet, you know. Mm. Okay. No problem, Leilani. There we go. I think like that. That's how she's gonna be. So I think I like that. How far out is her leg? It's not that far out. I think I like that. So Put that in there. Do that can. Can I just hold that in place for a little 
once she dries up, I'll be able to just maneuver it a little bit more. I don't want to stick her all the way down. So I have her exactly where I want her, but I need that to dry with the wire in it. Yes. I have them too. What a sad, sad day, you guys. I've never done a boo-boo like that on a girl's face before. Me not happy right now. Me so not happy. I'm going to let that dry. And I'm going to adjust all that real quick. Because it's permanent paint. So I don't think I'll be able to get it off. And if I try to smear it, I'll just create more mess. So I'll give it a light little dab of gesso, let it dry, and then I'll go back in with the um, gelatos and just color over it again. What I do want to do while I have her here, um, see, I'm going to need some soap and water for this. Heavy duty soap and water. I can't believe I messed up her face. I'm so upset with myself. Yes, it's so pretty, right? And I hope you guys can see it well. I know that it's a little bit um. Let's see. I'm trying to focus it. Hopefully the colors are showing well enough. And you guys can see them. Thank you, Dorinda. Thanks, Tanya. Love you. Be careful. You look fine. Come on, hear my prayer, hear my prayer, hear my prayer, and give it to me, baby, give it to me, so that I can just bypass having to gesso it, I just want to be able to color it. So let's see. Let's see if I can do it. It's not this one, it's the rose one. It's the rose one. Please give me the power to be able to paint over this right now. Thank you. <sighs> tragedy averted, you guys, tragedy averted. But you know what I'm going to do? Because obviously she got a sparkle, right? She got a sparkle. Plus I got to set in that gelato. So I'm going to go and grab me some of my glitter paints. Actually, I'm going to add a little bit of that glitter glue to the moist too. Um, if I can find it. I need to get some of my glitter paint and add some glitter paint on her. Um, just to make her sparkle because we don't have nothing here that really sparkles. Everything is kind of matte in a way. So we need something to add some sparkles and shine. So we gotta get her all sparkly. Yay for glitter. And I gotta do a number on my brushes, you guys. I feel so bad right now. Because my brushes look bad. My brushes look bad right now. I'm looking for a brush. Oh, that's what happened. I grabbed the wrong brush earlier. Finding the perfect brush is so hard sometimes. So I'm gonna use this Glamour Dust, which I absolutely love. It's a clear um, glitter paint, dries clear, but it leaves such a sparkle behind. 
So I'm gonna just give her a sparkle and give her close a sparkle. And I want this to kind of roll out like this. I'm gonna roll cool a little bit, just a little bit. I want this to kind of just roll out like that, like the wind is twirling it. That's what I want it to look like, the wind is twirling it. I'm just gonna give her some shimmer and some shine. Because she is a magical fairy. And she has pixie power. She's amazing as she's flying, letting her powers just sprinkle all over everything. I might have to um, add a wire back there. I think I'm gonna add a wire back there just to get it right. Just to make sure she doesn't bend and little little by little she starts looking like she's giving you a hug in the middle of the air. Because that's what's gonna happen. Between the humidity and wherever it ends up traveling to. I'm just kind of using the paint to allow some of this to kind of swirl and curl. Um, just like it would in the wind, it would like be twirly all over the place. And when this paint gets, you know, dry, it'll be a little bit, it'll make it a little bit stiffer. Um, and you won't be able to see another little glops of paint. You'll just be able to see the glitter. And it'll steal in my color as well. So all of the little jello gelato that I added on here. Oh, I gotta glitter her eyes her other leg. Um, all of the gelato that I added in here will be sealed in place so it won't come off because of the paint. The paint will seal it off. So we're just gonna do that. That. Yeah. Good night, Tammy. So we're gonna do a little bit of that. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this um glitter glue that I got from Dollar Tree. This it doesn't come with this tip. I forgot to mention that I put that. That's from my own supply. So I pretty much add that in there. This is like um just a little bit of glitter. Well, it's glitter glue, so <laughs> it has glitter. Um, but it kind of matches the color. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue here and there. I'm gonna just brush it on. Why not, right? It comes with just a regular paint bottle cap. And some of this stuff is still a little bit um, wet. So I'm, I don't want to go too, too crazy. But I do want to add a little bit in the bottom, a little bit in the top. I'm not going to add nothing in the middle because we have the fairy kind of um, adding the rest of the sprinkle that's needed in the middle. But I do want to add on the flowers. And this baby right here is a little loose. I'm going to have to go back into this afterwards and just reinforce um, some of the areas that I feel might be a little loose. I'll do that after it's all dry. And I'll just go back into with the with the um, glue gun and just make sure everything is everything. I'll add some wet glue too that'll dry clear and just, you know, kind of have a little bit more security with this thing. 
But this is pretty much done. This is pretty much done. So, there you guys have it. Yes. I might do some more to it because you guys know me. I never know how to leave things alone. But she is done. Thank you. And the idea that I kind of had in my head, I was, thankfully I was able to at least more or less execute because I wasn't even sure that I was going to be able to um, get her to stay. Yeah, but she's going to stay. She's going to stay. I think I might have to reinforce her arm with some wire. So I'm going to see how I do that. Um, I'll figure that part of it out. But I like it. I think it came out really, really pretty. I'll probably add some more things to the sides. Like um, maybe add some glitter paint. I'm definitely going to be adding some beading around these edges here in the bottom. This is more or less how she looks. Let me see. Let me take that focus off so that I can just manually focus. I don't know if I was driving you guys a little dizzy, but this is a close up of what everything is looking like in there. And just a dimension overall. It's so full, you guys. It's so full. But I think it came out absolutely beautiful. I absolutely enjoyed making this with you guys. As usual, you guys are all so awesome and also supporting. And I so greatly appreciate you all being here. Yes. That's for sure. I'll definitely be playing with this later on. Well, probably not today. I'm going to let it just sit overnight. And just really, really let it thoroughly, thoroughly, thoroughly dry. Um, but I really do like how it all came out. I think this color kind of throws this color off a little bit. But at the same time, it also kind of makes it stand out. So I don't know if I'll be doing any changes to this. I'm not sure. I don't think so. But with me, you never really know. Because I'm liking it, but I'm trying to love it. Um, but we'll see what happens. I might add a little bit more here and there um, as time goes on. Maybe I'll add some more flowers or something. I don't even know. Right now, my mind's kind of like all over the place. But I want to say thank you all so, so much. And we did this in like record-breaking time, you guys. Usually, I'm here for the longest time. I'll take three hours. It's been only two hours and 19 minutes. So kudos for that. Uh, thank you, Leilani. And I can't believe I spilled my black ink. Oh, I'm so sad about that, but it's all right. I should have another bottle somewhere. <laughs> so thank you all so, so much. Love, blessings, and hugs to all of you. Um, I should be doing the giveaways pretty soon. Pretty soon. Because I just did this one, so I might as well just do them all together. Um, so just let me calculate and write everything down and get everything ready. And I'll have the giveaway. Um, doing the, um, I'll be doing the, the giveaway live within the next two or three days at maximum so that I can get these things shipped out because I know that, um, Karina's, she wants it home and whoever the next two winners are going to be, I'm going to, I'm sure that they're going to want it home as well. So thank you all so, so much. Have a blessed rest of the weekend and I will catch you all on the next one. Don't mind my dirty fingers and I'll catch you later. Bye.